In today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at how to get pretty killer sounding bass DI tones in no time at all with the Bass Knob STD from Bogren Digital. First of all, if you're not familiar, Jens Bogren is a record producer and mixing engineer out of Sweden who's responsible for some of my personal favorite records from bands like Opeth and Catatonia, Devon Townsend, Enslaved, Dimmu Borgir, and a whole bunch of others, the list goes on. So seeing the Bogren Digital team put out amp sims is a huge stamp of approval in my opinion. Recording and mixing bass has always been a bit of a challenge for me. Getting the low end to sit right is one of the more difficult aspects of mixing in my opinion, and generally my bass plugin chains can be a whole lot longer than just about any other instrument in the mix. If I'm going for that grindy rock or metal bass tone with a DI and an amp sim, my plugin chains can often be upwards of six or seven plugins long, starting with compression and EQ and saturation, the amp sim, more EQ, more compression, and things like that that you just end up tweaking more and more as the mix goes on. And that's exactly where the Bogren bass knob STD comes into play. It just kind of combines all of that into one super easy to use plugin that sounds great and it just sits in a mix incredibly well. So let's take a listen to just the raw DI on its own. So it's a pretty quick and effortless way to get both distorted and clean SVT style tones. I've tried a ton of different bass amp sims and a lot of them tend to flub out when you push the gain, but this one grinds up in all the right places for my tastes. My main bass rig in one of my bands is an Ampeg SVT Classic through a 2x15 cab, so I'm right at home with the sounds that I'm getting from this plugin. I also love that it comes as a standalone app, which is great for jamming at home since I keep my actual bass rig at the practice space. This is also a really lightweight amp sim in terms of processing, which is nice if you're already deep into a mix and you need to punch something in or make a change. I could see some folks wanting more control over the EQ, but ultimately, this plugin is voiced just right to sit in a mix without much tweaking. Plus, it's easy enough to add a hair of EQ in post if you need to. It just lets you get down to being creative and not spending so much time dialing in tones. So here's a full mix of a little tune that I made using the bass knob STD as inspiration. I really hope you dig it, and I appreciate you checking out the video. We'll see you in the next one.